and sticking with the basketball theme but switching gears over to college now as both the McNeese men's and women's basketball teams are over in Houston this evening for a date with the Houston Christian Huskies with a lot on the line for all teams involved. First up were the women and the Cowgirls got off to a great start. McNeese won the tip and then Kaili Chamberlain drives, gets the layup to go and gets fouled for the old-fashioned three-point play less than 20 seconds into the game. And then here you see Chamberlain again as she cuts and extends McNeese's lead to 7 to nothing. with five of those points being her own. She finished with 13 on the night, and in the end, the Cowgirls get a massive win for their tournament hopes as they win it 65-60. to More on them in just a moment. But first, let's get to the men as they, too, took on the Huskies and check out this emphatic dunk by Christian Shoemate and once wasn't enough. Let's see that in slow motion as Christian Shoemate throws it down. He had 26 on the night, but couldn't get this one to go. But there's Harwin Francois out of nowhere as the Cowboys are starting to build themselves a second half lead as they're up six. Unfortunately, though, that lead would crumble. Houston Christian comes back and despite Shoemate's 26 points, McNeese falls 85 to 80, a big hit to their tournament hopes. That being said, let's take a look at the Southland Conference standings starting with the women. McNeese is in a very good position now with just two games remaining at 7-9. They sit at 7th in the conference and regardless of Saturday's outcome versus Southeastern, the Cowgirls would clinch a spot in the Southland Tournament with a win over New Orleans next Wednesday. As for the Cowboys, not as great. They're tied for 8th in the conference but are last due to tiebreakers. Had they won tonight, it would be a far different story but now they have some work to do over their final two games to make the Southland Conference tournament. 